Good morning. You want something from me, do you? Yeah! Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> 
Yeah! Yeah. Yeah. Stop. Have a word. It would 
Good man. What is it then? <clears throat> it's about this. I challenge you to a duel, sir. What? You heard? Don't try to wriggle out of it. Let's get to it. I'm not in the habit of fighting to the death with fellows I meet by chance on the road. Tell me first what this is all about. What's happening? is I'm challenging you to a duel, you disgusting man. I spit in your face. Eager, aren't you? Who are you, anyway? I am Sir Olbram of Lossing. Pleased to meet you, Sir Olbram. So, what are you after? Uh, my mother sent me out to get some experience. She's obsessed with tales of chivalrous knights. In short, she sent me off looking for some virgin to save and to win glory in combat. But I have to admit, I'm not very good at it. Look, dueling's all fine and dandy, but shouldn't you start with looking for that virgin? There's lots of pretty maids around these parts. One or two might still be virgins. Hmm. That never occurred to me. Once you've done that, you might see this dueling differently. True. If I'm fighting for the love of my life, my courage will know no bounds. Ah, uh, that's not quite what I had in mind, but so be it. Thank you for your encouraging words. Glad to be of service, sir. God. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah! Yeah. 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 
My respects to you. Take care now. Let's have a word about the price. Well, we can try it. What about this? I'd almost shake on that. Almost. That would do it. God bless you. What troubles you? Good luck then. Jesus Christ be praised. Good luck to you. Can we do something about the price? Naturally. What do you say to this? That's not enough. Finally, a reasonable sum. Garlic, onions, mushrooms and asparagus. Come right up. No need to be sad. Good health to you. Can we do something about the price? Well, we can try it.
Are we agreed? That's not enough. See, now I knew we'd come to an agreement. Good day to you. Good luck then. Carrots and apples. Fresh bread. Come and get it. Man cannot live by bread alone, but he can't live without it either. Have a look at these cucumbers. They'll stay firm all winter. Buy them before someone else does. God be with you. May the Lord watch over you. Good day to you. My respects to you. Asparagus that'll cut you in half and cucumbers that'll show up and get them. God be with you. Do you need anything?
Let's talk about the price. Sure, why not? What do you say to this? Well, a little more and we'll shake on it. All right, sir. Cucumbers, lovely cucumbers. Yeah. God be with you. Take care now. I'll have to get something to eat. I'm starting to get hungry. Greetings, Henry. Teresa, I brought you something. My, my, how. How chivalrous. That's lovely. Thank you so much. I brought you something. <coughs> oh, how lovely. Thank you. Don't you want to do something together again? I can't now. Come back in the evening, will you? Look what I've got for you. You'll love this. I've got for you. You'll love this. Ah. 
That's a good boy. That's my boy. Yeah. yeah. Henry, I'm glad you came. God bless you. What troubles you? See you later. Yeah. Yeah. Good day to you. What do you need? Take care now. Fred beat just this morning. Fred! Right your every day. My respects to you. Let's have a word about the price. Well, we can try it. Is this enough? That's a poor offer. Finally, a reasonable sum. Good health to you. You look like you've got a lot on your plate, Master Bailiff. Is work keeping you busy? Busy? I've had so many visitors, I wouldn't wonder if the door fell off its hinges. What's going on? I've been given the task of putting some of the Scarlet's refugees to work. It's not that there's a shortage of jobs, the problem's sharing them out fairly. I understand. Everyone has mouths to feed. The worst part is they won't tell you who really needs a job the most, but you might be able to help, Henry. How? They're like to be more honest with you, so you can find out who's in the most need. And you can decide for yourself who'll do what. Will you help? If you need help, I'll do whatever I can. You're a godsend. I'm sure it won't take too long. You know how the refugees are getting on, don't you? But ask around if you need to find out more. What kind of work are we talking about? Well, old Hagen is looking for a cook, and we need three, actually five, carriers. A cook and five water carriers? 
Sounds simple enough. Is there a problem? A little. We need three water carriers, but the other two will have to carry, begging your pardon, shit. Or as the Pope would say, excrement. Is there anyone who can tell me more about it? Yes, the merchant Conrad Hagen is the one looking for a cook, so you can talk to him. And young Alex will know which of the Scarlet's folk are best suited to the job. How come that's such a cause for concern? For one thing, they're afraid of me. And I can't get a straight answer out of any of them. So how the hell am I supposed to make the right choice? Oh, they're desperate. You can't blame them. I don't, but I might end up picking some good-for-nothing who'll just booze his wages away. Can you tell me anything more about the cook? You'll have to ask Hagen yourself. I couldn't get a straightforward answer out of him. Maybe he's changed his mind. What do I need to know about the water carriers? We need three. Right now, some of the burgers' hands are doing the job. And they need to go all the way down to the river for water? Of course. Where else would they get it? Gallows Hill? It's not an easy job, but someone has to do it. What can you tell me about the other... Uh... Carriers. It's dirty, but it's a job that needs to be done. There'll be more than enough work for them. Some places are overflowing. Sounds disgusting. Why would anyone want the job? If all else fails, I'll pay two groschen for every one I pay the water carriers. That might convince someone. That's all I need to know. Good luck, then. Good luck to you. <laughs> God be with you. I'd like to ask about our former neighbors. There are jobs here for some of them, and I have to pick people. The bailiff told me about it. He still wants our people to do the knacker's job? But what of it? It will benefit everyone. Not everyone. There's not enough work for everyone, and no one wants to do the knacker's job. But having a job could save someone's life. Water carrying, maybe. But if they have to do a job that's not fit for a decent person, only for the knacker or the executioner's servant? So you think there's no point in it? That it's better to beg than have a job, even if it is hauling shit? You forget that that's a job for the knacker's hired hand, not for displaced people. When we return to Skelitz, they'll never be able to rid themselves of the stink. So, do you know who's most in need of some coin and is fit for hard work? Everyone's in need of coin, but not everyone is fit for such work. But who should I talk to, though? Where will I find them? I'll talk to them myself and send them to meet you in front of the rat house, so they'll all be in one place. It'll take me a while, though. I'm also looking for a cook. Do you know of a good cook who's looking for work? Well, there's Agnes. I've heard she can cook better than anyone. Only... Well, what's the problem? Did something happen to her? No, it's just that I haven't seen her around here for ages. I believe she's cooking for the local parish priest and living at the presbytery. So I don't think she's in need of work. Thanks. I'll go. Farewell. <laughs>
I've lost everything. My home. My respects to you. The bailiff sent me. He said you're looking for a cook. That's right. I'm searching for a good cook. But I've said all that to our esteemed bailiff. Well, I offered the bailiff my help because I know the Scalitz folk. Ah, I see. Well, ask away then. Do you have any particular requirements for the new cook? Well, it would be an advantage if she knew how to cook. Well, yes, but the bailiff said you had other conditions. Well, I want a woman who's capable of looking after the house when I'm away on business. Young? Nimble? What for? I want her to impress people with her food, not her face. I understand. Sorry. I also heard there are vacant carrier jobs. Yes, yes. I'm surprised it hasn't occurred to anyone sooner. It will certainly benefit the city if the burgers don't have to send their own servants. It will benefit my people as well. Of course, of course. It goes without saying. I also heard that you need workers to carry, uh, to empty latrines. It's not dignified to talk of such manners. That's not a concern for decent people. But I need to know... Enough. I won't have such talk in my home. Good luck to you. in our distress, but deliver us from... Good afternoon. Are you Agnes, who works at St. James? I am. Or I did, before those devils rolled in and burnt down scallets. Why do you ask? I'm looking for a good cook and housekeeper, and everyone I asked sent me to you. No, oh, I've been blessed by God. So it seems. Anyway, the local merchant wants someone who can cook food fit for nobility and take care of his household. Well, Father Francis was very fond of good food, but I can't just go serve someone else. Why not? Because I'm still Father Francis's housekeeper. But I heard he fled and isn't coming back. Don't pay any attention. They're just rumours. I'm still his housekeeper. Where's Father Francis now? I don't know. The last time I saw him, he was going to confession in Sassau. But that was before all these terrible things happened. I've heard no word of him since then. Does he go to Sassau often? Where does he stay when he's there? Not so often. About once a month. He always used to stay in the inn near the monastery. So he wouldn't have far to go. I'll ask around about what happened to Father Francis. I'll let you know. God bless. God bless. in our distress. May the Lord watch over you.
Good afternoon. Goodbye. Let's have a word about the price. Well, we can try it. Since it's you. Well, a little more and we'll call it a deal. Finally, a reasonable sum. Look what I've got for you. You'll love this. Jesus Christ be praised. Take care now. Jesus Christ be praised. How does life in Ratai? I suppose. Good luck to you. God be with you. Do you need anything? Maybe I could get you some work, if you know how to cook food for nobles. And where would I learn that? In Scalitz? If it's gruel with lard you're after, fine. But that ain't really fair for a lord. No, I reckon not. Well, it's not a job for you then. So why waste my time talking about it? Come back when you've something worthwhile to tell me. Goodbye. Take care of it.
make onions, mushrooms, and asparagus. Good afternoon. God bless. <laughs> Just this morning. Bread. Vegetables. You're interested in carrying water? I am. It's about time something good came to decent folk. I agree. Now, I'll ask you a few questions. What? But I want the work and I deserve it. Get your questions for good for nothing. What makes you so deserving? How did you make a living before this? I was the owner of a mine. Well, I had a lease on it. But in our line of work, it amounts to the same thing. The chief, eh? But have you ever hauled a bucket of ore up a hill? There's no hill in a mine. Just a shaft with a winch. It's hard work carrying water. So is taking care of a mine. It's not quite the same thing, is it? You need brawn to carry water, not brains. I wasn't born a mine owner, you know. I've done my share of hauling. There's also the option of, um, emptying latrines. Are you trying to insult me? That's no job for a decent Christian. True. That's why it pays double. Double, hey? Well, that's not bad, not bad, but, uh, for a man of my stature, no doubt there are more needy souls. Hmm, double. Hmm. How are you holding up in Ratoy? Not too well. I've tried offering my administrative abilities at the Rat House, but the bailiff treats me like a peasant. He's not an easy man to deal with, true enough. But if you show him what you're capable of... Well, if he gives you a chance to show him... But the bailiff complained he couldn't get a word out of you. I refused to talk to him. Last time I did, he was vulgar, shouted and threatened to whip me. And then he comes and interrogates me. Well, I can't see how that would put you off him. What would you give me if I put in a good word for you? So that's how it is, is it? An honest person can't get a job. Only one who'll stoop to bribing. Come now. I just want to help. But I'll have my job cut out persuading the bailiff to take you. All right. I don't have anything. But I know the armourer in Sassau. And he'll give you a good price if I have a word with him. Cheap armour might come in handy, all right? Done. Done. As soon as I get the job, come and see me and I'll tell you all about it. That's enough for now. Good luck to you. Hey, am I invisible or what? Come and buy some. Hey, am I invisible or what? You're here about the water carrying. Ah, where do I get some pails? Hold your horses. We haven't decided yet who gets the job. I have to ask you a few things first. What for? I can handle the job. But ask away. What trade did you do before? I worked in the mines, at the winch. You've heard of Tonda the winch, right? Strong as a bull. Ah, the name sounds familiar. You were one of the new miners, weren't you? I was. I came last autumn. The winch was mild enough to work the mines, and I showed everyone I was a hard worker. So I get the job? Uh, we're not finished yet.
Are you here because you want to carry water? Well, I'd rather be back in the winch. Turning it so fast, I'd make everyone's head spin. But now I want to carry water, at least, since there's some money in it. Well, uh, there's also the option of carrying, um, shit. Not a chance. I'm not carrying any shit around. And if anyone tries to make me, I'll break his legs. Carrying shit is hard work. A job for a real man. If you think it's so great, why don't you do it yourself? I've got a job. But beggars can't be choosers. So now I'm a beggar. Maybe I really should knock you on your ass. Sorry, no offence. And how are you holding up? Not very well. I'll tell you that. I help out with something every once in a while and get some money for it. But it's not enough. Especially when the dice don't fall in my favor. Sure. And have you tried looking for other work? What for? They'll get the mines winning again, and I'll have a real man's job. And what about soldiering? That's real man's work, isn't it? It is. And I'd be good at it. When I land a punch, you'd think you were kicked by a horse. Which I once showed to a soldier I fell out with over a game of dice. Only... I'm too smart for soldiering. Mm, no doubt. And how are you holding up? Not very well. Sure. What for? It's a shame there isn't any real work for strong men. Ain't that the truth. But as I've said, the mines will get repaired, and I'll have real work again. I heard you lot don't want to talk to the bailiff. I don't know much about that. The others didn't talk to him, so I kept my mouth shut as well. That's the way we do it at the mines. He didn't even really ask me anything anyway. Just mumbled something under his breath. What would you give me if I recommended you? What could I give when I don't have a pot to piss in? All I have is a strong arm. Whenever I hit anything or anyone, they stay hit. Well, if I get you the job, will you show me how to really hit someone hard? I could. Deal, then. Deal. I know everything I need. So, can I go carry water, then? Not yet. I'll tell the bailiff and he'll choose. Well, I hope he chooses me. Otherwise, I might be very angry. I'll bear that in mind. Good luck to you. God be with you. Do you need anything? What do you want? I want to work. And I heard you're the one in charge of giving out jobs, not the bailiff. It's true. Do you know how to cook? If you know how to make food for nobles, then I might have something for you. Where would I learn to cook food for nobles? I want to carry water. But Alex has already picked people who want to carry water. He didn't ask me, though. So I came here myself. Be that as it may, I already have the people I need to carry water. And anyway, it's no job for a woman. I'm strong enough to knock you on your arse, you pop. Take care. He's dying. He's badly wounded. So poorly he's been in his bed for weeks. Unconscious most of the time. Sorry to hear it. I already owe the apothecary a small fortune. And he won't lift a finger for us now. What did you do in Scalitz? I was at the Silverwoods, roasting the ore and washing it. My husband was at the smelter. Oh, Christ. Things got very ugly there. I suppose that's where your husband was wounded? 
It's a miracle you managed to drag him all the way to Ratai. What else could I do? Leave him there? Oh, if you know how to cook fine food, I could get you a job at the merchant's house. You'd have a nice roof over your head there, too. All I've ever cooked is gruel and soup. Nothing fit for nobles. A roof would be grand, though. Not so much for me, but for my husband. Is there any way you could arrange it? No. Not unless I lied about your cooking skills. But he'd find out soon enough, and then we'd both be in trouble. All right. I'll think about it and talk to the bailiff. And you'll tell him to take me, right? God bless. Good health to you. You hear about the water carrying? Aye. I can haul water all day long. So, do you want the job? There's plenty of other folk that will take it if you don't. I do. I want it. What do I have to do? So tell me, what was your trade before? I was a miner, then a farm laborer, then I was a servant, then I fled from Scullitz and ended up here. Quite the fat totem, aren't you? Was none of those jobs good enough for you? Uh, I liked them all. But they were always sending me to do something else. Pickman, they'd say. Leave this and go and do that. Pickman? That's your name? Uh, actually, my real name's Vassal. But they call me Pickman. Is that German? No. It's from when I was in the mines. Digging with a pick. So tell me. What was... I was a miner? Quite the fact. Uh... Right, I see. So you're keen on carrying water? I've been keen on it since I got up this morning. And you had another job before this morning, or what? <laughs> no, no. I was just joking. Besides water, you could carry... Um, you could empty latrines. What? Carry shit? <laughs> That'd be a new one for me. No, it's not a thing I'd go around boasting about. How are you holding up, anyway? What can I tell you? I've seen better days, for sure. What happened with the bailiff? He couldn't get a word out of anybody. That peacock, what was strutting up and down and shouting at everyone? He told me he'd no time to listen to a buffoon like me. So I shut my mouth. Well, I could put in a good word for you, but uh, you'll have to scratch my back, too. Fair enough. Show me where it itches. No, you dolts. It's just a saying. Like I do something for you, and you do something for me. Ah, right. I see. Well... As it happens, I've got something great for you. Treasure you wouldn't dream of. Treasure, you say? Right, you've got my attention. <sighs> I see you're a smart man. A man who knows a thing or two about the world. I've got... Wait for it. I've got a piece of the Queen of Sheba's sword. Never heard of her. Who's she? She was a great queen in ancient times. She gave Solomon a sword, a sword with magical powers. Magical, eh? You shouldn't believe everything you hear. No, it's true. It's in the Bible. And this sword, once it's put back together, nothing can stop it. It can cut through bones, teeth, even steel and stone. I see. But you've only got one piece. What's that good for? Uh, I couldn't get it all. The fellow I bought it off didn't have the rest. He sold off bits and pieces. But they've got powers of healing, you see? And, and put strength in your... <laughs> you know... <laughs> manhood. What do you say? Deal? 
Ah, forget it. I'm not interested in a rusty piece of steel. Now, silver, though... But I don't have any, Groshen. Not a one. Tough luck, then. May the Lord watch over you. That's enough for now. So, we're agreed, then? Look, the bailiff is the one who'll decide. So, I might not get the... May the Lord watch over you. Do you want something? I'd like to ask a favor of you, Hal. Of course. What is it? I heard you're picking people to carry water. No one needs the job more than Antonia. Adam never mentioned any Antonia. I'm not surprised. But Antonia really needs that job. Hmm. Can she cook? What's that got to do with carrying water? Nothing, but there's a cook's job going too. Much easier than hauling water. I don't know how good a cook she is, though. You'd better ask her yourself. Do you think she'll be able to handle carrying those buckets? It's quite far, and up that hill. She's no princess. She's tough enough. It's just if I recommend somebody who's not fit for the job, I'll be the one who has problems. Then what's the worst that can happen to you? A telling off? Suit yourself, but I won't forget it. You look like something the cat dragged in. Good day to you. Are you here on account of the water carrier? Yes, I am. My name is Vincent. Nice to meet you. I'll ask a few questions and we'll see. All right? Fine. I ask away. What did you do before this? I worked for my father. Doing what? But who's your father anyway? He's... He was Moimir. We had a farm near Scarlet. Really? His farmhands came to the tavern a lot, but I never saw you there. Uh, I don't go to taverns. So you're probably here about carrying water, right? Aye. I, I want to carry water. That's all? You've nothing more to add? Th that's what's needed, ain't it? How are you holding up? Well, I'm alive. But I miss my father. And the farm, too. But Ma says there's no use dwelling on it. Life must go on. What happened with Bailey? He couldn't get a word out of anybody. I, I don't know. I didn't talk to him at all. And what would you give me if I put in a good word for you? Uh, I've got nothing to give. Oh, come now. You say you want the job, so prove it to me. Mother told me I should go and help. If, if you don't want my help, fair enough. That's enough for now. Take care now. My respects to you. You're one of the people interested in work. Well, Alex told me that I'm supposed to ask about a job carrying water. That's right. But first, I'll ask you a few questions. You are... Peter. But everyone calls me Rook. There was more than enough Peters in the mines. And not just in the mines. So... At the mines? So you're a miner? That's right. I worked in the East Shaft. And I hope I'll be working there again. Now that I think of it, have you heard anything from that old ships? When will they open the mines again? I have no idea what their lordships plan to do about it. All right. I just thought you might have heard something. At the mines? That's right. But you... How badly do you want to carry water? Well, right now there doesn't seem to be much work around for miners. And at least I can earn a few groschen. 
It's not easy work, man. It's a long way to carry water. Do you think it was easier in the mines? Digging through rock on your knees all day for months on end? There's one more option. Carrying shit. What? For the knacker? It's a job. But what would people say? I need money badly, but I couldn't go back to mining after that. But it would be twice the pay. The money would help, true enough. What about afterwards? I don't want to be carrying shit all my life. Look at it this way. You learn double the money in the same time, or the same money in half the time. That's not bad, is it? Well, you have a point. I could get it over and done with quickly, and... Hmm. All right, I'll take it. I suppose it won't kill me. Good. I'm sure you won't regret it. How are you holding up? You mean this here? Well, I've got feeling back in my arm again. What happened to it, anyway? That time in Scalit. I was knocked down by a horse. But it's better now. But can you handle carrying water? It's no easy matter. Sure I can. Like I said, my arm's fine. How are you holding up? You mean this? What happened to it? That time in... Look, I can see by the way your arm is hanging, it's not healed. You can't carry water like that. Well, come on. I owe money to the Sawbones, and I need the work to pay for it. I'll give you anything you want. Well, I could find something that will help you. Anything. You'll have to wait. I'll wait. The bailiff said he couldn't get a word out of you. Well, he's not the most popular man around here, after everything that's happened. You can't blame us. Well, maybe, but if you lot had just talked to him, I wouldn't have to run around dealing with this, and you'd all have a few groschen by now. You might be right, but there's no point crying over spilt. That's enough for now. God be with you. God save.
about that arm of yours. God bless you. Here you go. This will help it heal better. Thank you so much. How much do I owe? No, oh, nothing. We Scalitz folk have to help each other out. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. There's one more. What? If it's a job. But what would. But it would be twice. The money would. Ha Look at it this. What? Good. That's enough for now. Take care. Good boy. That's my boy. My respects to you. I know everything I need to know to pick the carriers. Splendid. I'll be glad to get this damn business off my back. So how have you decided? So, how do we do this? Do I just give you their names, or should I send for them? Just tell me their names and whether they should carry water or something else. Don't worry, I'll send for them. Antonia. What? A woman? Yeah, is that a problem? You never said it had to be only men. I didn't, but I kind of assumed it would be clear. It's a long walk with a heavy load, man's work. She can handle the job. Have no fear. Let's hope so. You'll have to answer to me if she can't. Where do we put her then? To carry water. So we have one person to carry water. Who's next? Tonda. They call him the Winch. The Winch? Not to be good with a bucket anyway. What's he going to do? To carry water. So we have one person to carry water. Who's next? Vasi goes by the moniker of Pickman. Pickman. I hope he doesn't have a history of pickpocketing. No, no. They call him Pickman because he worked in the silver mines, and he was very keen with the pick. So much so, he managed to chop off two of his fingers. Well, he can't do too much damage with a bucket, I suppose. Where do you want to put him? To carry water. So we have one person to carry water. Who's next? Cornelius. Ah, Cornelius. I had him here once looking for a job. Where do you want to put him? I'd like to see him with buckets of shit. Carrying shit. Good. One person for this job. Next. Peter. Better known as Rock. Peter? Rock? Didn't he get into a fight and injure his arm? Well, what should he do? Carrying shit. Good. One person for this job. Next. That's it. Good. All decided. Now about the cook's job.
God be with you. Fresh bread. Come and get it. Look what I've got for you. You'll love this. Can I ask? Thank you. That's all I wanted to know. Can you teach me how to defend myself better in combat? Certainly. I'm interested in more advanced techniques. All right, but it'll cost you. Isn't that quite a lot? Satisfied? More. Agreed. Now listen up. I'd like to train a bit, just lightly, with practice weapons. Right. Let's get to it. What weapon would you like to try? I've got a bastard sword, a short sword. We can fight with poles. Whatever you fancy. I still don't feel entirely competent with the bastard sword. I'd like to try that. Right, lad. Grab your piece, and we'll get stuck in. Ah. Oh dear, it's Yeah. Ah. Piche. Gone weak at the knees, have you? Ah! 
you can do? Learn how to ride a horse, idiot! Everything for the house! Yeah! Garden and field! <laughs> yeah! Good afternoon. I'm interested in your uh, services. And what is it you'd like? Get myself fixed up a bit. Have a bath and get my clothes washed. But of course. Money first, though. I'm not giving you that much. And how much are you willing to pay? Is this enough? It'll take more than that to persuade me. Satisfied? That's not enough. You won't regret spending the money. I guarantee it. Goodbye. Good afternoon. Goodbye. Oi.
Hey, lad! Don't you want a little wager on the Rate Tourney? So what are we to do with you, Henry? How about now? Fancy a walk to the town? I can't now. Come back in the evening, will you? Good afternoon. Good luck then. Good people, come up close and have a smell. God save you. Good Hey, you're not allowed to walk around here with a weapon. My respects to you. Good luck to you.
murderers took everything I had. Vegetables, fruits, apples, cucumbers, onions, and people. How about now? Fancy a walk to the town? That sounds wonderful. Everyone says the Broken Wheel Tavern is the fun place to be in the evening. I want you to take me there. Have you ever been to a tavern? Me and my father used to stop at the tavern in the glade when he was taking the flower into town, but he never wanted to take me inside. What do you think, Hal? Shall we go? See why not? But you'll have to try some ale while you're there. I will, I promise. Let's be going then. Go to taverns a lot, do you? Sometimes. If I want a proper meal, I have to. I don't want to eat the stuff I cook. <laughs> That's true. I haven't forgotten that bet you made back in Scalix that time. And that's where you go to woo wenches, is it? You lout. Why? I'm not taking it anywhere at all. It's alright. I don't go picking up women in tavers. I prefer a different sort. What sort might that be? All mouth and green eyes. You're such a... <laughs> Come on then. <laughs> so, here we are. <clears throat> shall, we, uh, shall we order something? Yes, definitely. Uh, <clears throat> service? <laughs> oh, a pair of lovebirds. <laughs> what would you like to order? Is it right? It's excellent. This ale is no better in the province. Mm, you know what? <laughs> what? What are you doing? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Uh, but, but really? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, come on, be brave. No, I've never... Hand on my hip. I, I don't even know how. And off we go. <laughs> but, but really, <laughs> I, I, I don't know how. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing just fine. All right. Oh, it's all right. It's fine. <laughs> 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 oh, very nice. <laughs> 
so bad. <laughs> <laughs> you wore me out. And you said you couldn't dance. How about a dance with a real man? <laughs> How about you leave me alone and bother someone else? Oh, come on. It's a crime to waste a body like that on a scrawny boy like him. You got tits like a cow in calf. Oh, that's it. I'd like a woman to fight before I fuck her. <laughs> You'll pay for that, boy. Bollocks! My hero. Does it hurt? No, you should worry about the other fella. I'm fine. Ow! Of course you are. That's why you wince every time I touch you. You saw him off, though. He wasn't feeling so playful after you'd finished with him. That tickles. Baby. So, you'll probably be fine. But try to give your hands some rest. Don't go lifting anything too heavy. Thank you. Can I take you home? You never give up. Are you sure you don't need a bit more rest? I can find my own way home. I'll manage those few extra steps. Come on then, hero. I'll give you this. Nights out with you might be painful, but they're never boring. I do my best. <laughs> well, you should go in before Peshek starts fretting.
Good day to you. What do you need? Can I sleep here? Certainly. For how long? Just the one night. All right. Money up front, though. Hmm. That's quite a lot. Can we discuss the price? Are we agreed? That's not enough. You'll like it here. Like sleeping on a cloud it is. Good luck to you. There. Satisfied? Where do I go to sleep? On the upper floor of the inn. There's steps up to it uh, outside. To the Your chamber is the one in the middle. See you later. Good morning. Can we do something about the price? 
Hmm, all right, so. Is this enough? Well, no, a little more and we'll shake on it. All right, so. Could do with a bite to eat. Look what I've got for you. You'll love this. God be with you. I'd like to talk to you. That's all I need to know. Good luck then. Farewell. Day. Take care. What's going on there? God be with you. Take care now.
family, my livelihood. Let it bake a bit, and you'll be able to feed the whole family with fresh bread. Vegetables! Fresh vegetables! Look, smell! Aren't they lovely? I'm glad to see you. See you later. Good luck, then. God be with you, good sir. I need to have a look in the Black Chronicle, Friedrich. 
and I need blessed relief from my suffering. May the Lord have mercy. Well, I don't know what I can do for you except bring you a priest. I'm not dying yet. I just can't get up. I'm sorry to hear that, but I'm on the trail of those killers from Neuhof, and I need to know the names of the men who were sentenced alongside Limpy Lubosch from Ujitz. I can't remember. Once I write the record down, it goes straight out of my head. It's essential that I find out those names. Is there anything I can do to help you get back to work? I can't go to work when I can't stand on my feet. Konyash the Apothecary has an embrocation that helps, but it costs dearly. If you brought me some, it might do the trick. All right, I'll try and get some for you. God be with you. Scribe Friedrich needs the embrocation for his joints. What, again? He was here not long ago for some. He ought to make it last longer. I told him not to grease himself up so much. It could cause... Ah, oh, the older he gets, the more foolish he is. Well, did he tell you such salvation is costly? Have a look in the shop for yourself. I'd like to discuss the price. Well, we can try it. See now? I knew we'd come to an agreement. Jesus Christ be praised. I bought you the embrocation, and you were right, it certainly wasn't cheap. I know, lad. I've been using it for years. Will you let me have a look at the Black Chronicle? Well, you helped me, so now I'll help you. Come along, and I'll show you our Black Chronicle. That really is a miraculous ointment. You haven't even rubbed it on, and it's already working. You know how it is. Faith itself is the greatest healer. Just thinking about the relief it will bring makes me feel better. So don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Come along. God be with you. Ooh. Ooh. 
Will you let me have a look? Well, you helped me, so... That really is a miraculous ointment. You know how... Farewell. Hey! Could you find something for me in that book? The thing is, I don't, um... Don't know how to read, do you? So what do you need to know? I'm trying to track down those Neuhoff cutthroats, and I need to find out the names of any cronies of Limpy Lubosch from Ujits. Hmm. Give me a while. Farewell. <laughs> So did you find any mention of Limpy in the book? I did. Apart from Lubosch, there's mention of some Anton from Vlashim and Hinek, known as Riki, from Ledechko. Ledechko? That's a stone throw from here. Aye. Certainly closer than Vlashim. Thanks for your help. Thank you for that ointment. God be with you. Can we do something about the price? Well, we can try it. Agree? Well, now a little more and we'll shake on it. Aye, for that amount I can be persuaded.
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah! Yeah. Jesus Christ be praised. I'm looking for a fellow called Riki. Do you know him? You mean Hinek? He's the Tanner's son, isn't he? Any idea where I could find him? I don't know. Tried his folks' house, but he doesn't spend much time there. So you know this Hinek? Can you tell me something about him? Not much, I confess. Most of the village folk avoid him like the plague. Why is that? No one with a nose likes spending too much time around Tanners. And that Riki keeps bad company. I've never heard a good word said about him. What can you tell me about the old courier? He's as cantankerous as a hog in a thorn bush. He won't talk to anyone. Why do they call Hinek Riki anyway? He's a tanner, isn't he? 
If you're ever downwind of him, you'll understand. Tanning isn't a trade for the weak of stomach. True enough. But not every courier gets cursed with a name like that. Well, Pinnock's nature's no sweeter than his smell. Why has he got such a bad name? Hmm. Well, like his own man. He doesn't talk much to anyone. And then he's always skulking off somewhere. I heard he got a taste of the pillory in Ratte for thieving. And then Neuhoff, he got boosted up in the alehouse with his cronies and they beat up some merchants. So a bit more than high spirits? Just so. We're all honest folk here, and we've no use for the likes of him. Don't tell me there's not a single person who talks to him. He's been seen around with one of the bathhouse wenches. Adela, I believe she's called. Is something troubling you? I wouldn't say it's troubling me exactly, my boy, but I've heard talk about the Sasso blacksmith that I'm losing sleep over. What talk might that be? They say they've heard him chanting when he tempers steel, and that nothing of his ever breaks. Using spells to strengthen steel? That sounds like old wives' tales to me. That's what they say. They say he's always muttering something, and if anyone catches him at it, he stops at once and gives them dirty looks. Maybe he's just praying. Well, he's getting help of some sort, whether it's prayers or something less holy. Well, if it's troubling you, go and have a look for yourself. Easy for you to say. I have too much work to do. And anyway, I can't just turn up asking questions. He wouldn't tell me anything. And uh, how could I help with that? Simple enough. Go there and find out if there's any grain of truth in it. I suppose asking costs nothing. Just don't ask him outright about any sorcery. Don't worry, I'm not that daft. Good, good. And don't worry. You won't be the poorer for it. Once you find out what's what, I'll find a way to recompense you. All right. I'll go and see if there's anything to the stories. Good. But be subtle about it. Don't go embarrassing yourself. Or me. God be with you. your clothes were you assaulted damn bandits may they burn in hell what can you tell me about this Hinek? what can i tell you no nope, he's none too popular no one cares to talk to him why not well i'm not one to gossip but i heard he keeps bad company what's the tanner like Hinek's father the less i see of him the better He's not exactly sparkling company. Why do they call him Riki anyway? Why do you think? Because he's a tanner, of course. So why don't people like him? The old tanner's not an easy man. But a son should never let his father down. Henick does nothing to help. He's always far too busy with his own affairs. Though I wouldn't like to say what those are. And does no one at all talk to him? That harlot, Adela, hangs around with him, of course. Harlot? She works as a bathhouse wench. Same thing. Take care. <coughs> God be with you. I'm looking for your son. Any idea where he might be? I don't know nothing. Don't you at least know where he usually goes? It's important. Hinek shows up at home once in a blue moon, so I don't know nothing about where he gets to. Even if I did, why would I tell every Tom, Dick and Harry?
Your son is about to get into deep shit. I'm trying to find him so I can warn him. That's nothing new. He's always up to his ears, isn't it? But this time his neck's on the block. He got mixed up with some very dangerous people. I have to find him. All right. He was here a few days ago, but he left right away. He looked like... like he was in a hurry. And you don't know where he went? I've got an idea, but I don't know where it is exactly. I don't follow. Heenek makes some money on the side from poaching. He boasted to me a few times about what a great hideout he found in the woods, but he never told me where it is. Well, it's not much to go on, but it's better than nothing. Thank you. Don't you have any clue at all where his hideout could be? I really don't know nothing about that. I could tell when he'd come from there is all. How's that? Because every time he brought some hides for tanning and money. He had money because he sold the stuff right away? I suppose. He never kept any of his loot here. Do you know who he sold it to? No. But the innkeeper came here now and again and gave him coin. Of course, it could have been for me. All right. I'll ask at the inn then. What more do you know? Nothing. I swear to God Almighty, I've said all I know. Hinnick never told me nothing. I know he didn't talk to you about it, but you must have noticed something, right? How much time did he spend away? What was he wearing? How did he look when he came back? Anything? Well, he came and went at all sorts of hours. I really don't know. Uh, except maybe one thing. He'd come home scratched with brambles and with leaves and muck on him. So we probably went through thick woods to get to that place. I reckon. What do I know? Go. And if he's really in as much shit as you say, try and find him. Good day to you. I noticed the targets. Are you an archer by any chance? I notice you're asking questions. Are you the Inquisition by any chance? No, I'm Henry of Scalitz. From Scalitz? And that's it, from here. Why are you so curious about the targets? It's just that I sometimes try my hand at archery too. Try your hand, do you? <laughs> I know plenty who do. When you can score as high as me at chumps, then I might be impressed. I've got no idea what you're talking about. Never played chumps? And you call yourself an archer? All right, Henry, listen up. Chumps is a game for real archers. It tests your strength, stamina, and accuracy. And it can be a nice little owner. Unless you're, well, a chump. So what exactly is it? I'll tell you. A bunch of logs are floated down the river. Then you count to 20, and the archers run along the banks after the logs. At the end of the course, someone collects all the logs and counts the strikes. Whoever has the most, always meaning me, wins the bout. Each archer has 20 arrows with their own colored fletching, and the contest ends when the last log floats through the finish line. Sounds like good fun. Fun? My friend, it will bring you out in a proper sweat, and you'll be well pleased to hit just one or two blocks. So how about it then? Fancy a bout? You'll need your own bow, but I'll supply the arrows with colored fletching. Absolutely. Come on, then. Ah, one more chump. Excellent. Now you have to bet at least ten groschen, fifty at most. There'll be three archers competing at the time. The winner gets triple his wager and the second gets his coin back. So how much will you bet? Oh, I don't want to lose the shirt off my back. I'd best be careful. That's the betting over with. Now here are your arrows. May the Lord watch over you.
I'd better not go in any further. I might drown. Not allowed to walk around here with a weapon drawn. Put it away. So, how did it go? Well done, Henry. You've come first. It looks like you really do know what you're doing with a bow. You're still not up to my standard, mind you, but a pretty good effort. Here are your winnings. I hope you'll wager them on some chumps again.
Don't be such a knucklehead. Of course we can't leave him be. What the? Front would slit your throat if he heard you. And he's just some cowardly peasant. What can he do to us? You really can't get it into your thick skull, can you? It's about our fucking reputation. How can it help our reputation? Folk already shit themselves when they see us. God-fearing folk, maybe. But in this trade, even your own people have to be afraid of you. Otherwise, they might get the idea they can do without you. Get it? All right. But that fellow ain't one of us. Though. You moron. That's just why we have to get him, right? So no one else tries it on. It's all the same to me. I'll skewer him anyway. Just I can't be bothered looking for him. Well, while we're at it, did you ask about him at the village? Aye. Nobody knows where he is. Seems he's always wandering off somewhere. We'll wait and see what the chief says then. What else you, sir? I want to ask about the courier's son, Hinek. But ask someone else. They have nothing to do with Beaky. He'd only drive my customers away. <laughs> really? I heard a different story. I heard the two of you do business together. Who are you, anyway? A friend of Hinek's. He's gone missing, and I need to find him. I don't know where he is. But if you find the bastard, tell him he still owes me some goods. I don't give a damn what deals you've been doing together. I won't tell anyone. I just need to know where Riki is. It's urgent. What have our deals got to do with where he disappeared to? <laughs> More than you think. It's likely Riki is hiding out at his poaching lair. And believe me, it wasn't hard to find out who was buying game from him. And it's even easier to go to the castle and tell them. Poaching's a crime, after all. All right, all right. But give me your word of honor. You won't tell anyone about our deal. You have my word. Fine. So, what do you want to know? I hear Hinek has a hideout in the woods he uses for hunting game. Do you know where it is? Not exactly. That is... I don't know where it is at all. But? But I happen to know it's a dark place. A cave or an old mine shaft. How do you know that? Whenever Riki was going poaching, he always came to me first for candles and lamp oil. He brought the game skinned and gutted, so we had to have a light for that. How much game did he bring you? Not much, a few pieces. There's no great demand here. Sometimes the gentry hears something, otherwise it ends up in sausages. And do you know of any mine shafts nearby? There's a few of them around. There's one on the opposite bank, a short way off the path leading from the forge to the west. Then there's a mine gallery to the east of the village, uh, up in the woods above the cliffs. And I heard there's one shaft on the headland close to the water. Thank you. You're welcome. Watch you don't break your neck, though. It's rough ground, and you could easily fall down a shaft. Take care now. be with you. Do you need anything? I heard you've been seeing Hinek, the tanner's son. So what? Come to preach at me, have you? That I'm a loose woman, a sinner, that I seduce decent men? God, no. Nothing like that. It's just that you're the only one in the village who sees Hinek, so I came to ask you about him. I have seen him often enough. I don't know what I could tell you about him. Where can I find Hinek? I haven't seen him in the village for a few days. He must have run off to the woods again. Does he do that often? 
from time to time. What the hell does he get up to there? I, I don't know. He goes to the woods from time to time. That smells fishy to me. What do you mean? There's no law against it, is there? With all the footpads, looters, cumans, and God knows what other vermin around, it's not the sort of thing an honest man would do. But Hinek doesn't have anything to do with those people. Oh, really? Then what does he do there? I don't imagine he's gathering mushrooms. Mushrooms? No. More like hares or other game. So Hinek is a poacher? That's no surprise. Well, he was never much of one for an honest trade. Do you know exactly where he goes? Maybe he has some favourite spot he might have told you about? He said he has some hideout in the woods, but he didn't tell me where. When did you last see him? A few days ago. He came to me late in the evening, drunk. And that was unusual? I never saw him drink much. He always came to me sober. So he was acting strangely that evening? He was strange. I had the feeling he was afraid of something. He kept prattling on and didn't seem to care about... you know what. So I threw him out and I haven't seen him since. Can you remember anything he said that evening? Oh, oh I'm not sure. He went on about some fellow called Lubosh who died. That he was regretting he ever got into it, but he never said what it was. And that it wasn't worth it for the money. I. And then he was talking about the money. That was very odd. What did he say about the money? Just that he had a pile of it hidden behind his house. I see. What did you say to that? What could I say? He was drunk. He kept saying I was a fine girl and other harlots wouldn't go with him even for money. And if I wanted, I could even take half the money and leave. Or he'd go with me and we could get married and such. Oh, just poppycock. Did you go there for a look? No. I've got better things to do. Obviously, he made it up. Where would a layabout like him get so much coin? Yes, I understand. Did he tell you exactly where he hid it? He said he buried it at his father's small holding in the western corner. All right, thank you. Is it true? What? Other whores wouldn't go with him even for money. The other bathhouse girls are honest, so I don't know. The truth is, I felt a bit sorry for him. Folk don't like him, but it's only because his old man is a grouch and a tanner. So you only felt sorry for him? Both of us are the black sheep of the village. There's nothing more between you? No, nothing. Maybe Hinnick thinks differently, but that's how it goes. I found out that Hinnick goes poaching in the woods and he's got a hideout there. What do you know about it? Um. Don't worry. Hinnick has much bigger problems than being caught poaching. And you're not involved in it anyway, are you? No, I'm not. It's true he used to go hunting in the woods sometimes. When he came back, he'd usually come to me. That's all. How did you know he'd been to the woods? He always talked about what he caught, and he never came to me at other times. Probably didn't have the money for it. Do you know who he sold it to? He never told me straight up. But who could he sell it to? The innkeeper, I reckon. It makes sense. For sure. Do you know what route he took? At least the general direction. Anything that could help me find his hideout. I think he usually went through the woodcutter's camp. Because he always brought me freshly chopped firewood. And he had wood chips on his boots. Good. So at least I know where to start. Good luck then.
day to you. Take care. Jesus Christ be praised. Let's talk about the price. Well, we can try it. We agreed? Well, a little more and we'll call it a deal. Aye, that would do it.
Jesus. Mother of God, you look like you've been assaulted. I just want to ask about Hinnet. What do you want to know? Another thing about the money. What is it? Did you go there for a... No. Yes, I understand. God bless. Jesus! <laughs> What's that? Good day to you. I'd like to talk to you about your... I'm very busy, so make it... What can you tell me about the coin I found hidden behind your house? Coin? What coin? What on earth are you on about? A pretty pile of groschen nicely stashed away for a rainy day. If I'd known tanning was so lucrative, I'd have switched trades. I don't know nothing about it. And I suppose you know nothing about the bloody gambus and your son hid there too. Of course, it would be a shame to throw away such a valuable thing. Behind my house, you say? So you really don't know anything about it? Looks like you pulled the wool over your eyes. Still, I'm not surprised he never told you about it, considering how he came by that money. How did he come by it? He was paid to raid the Neuhof stud farm. He and his cronies slaughtered horses, stable boys, and even the owner, Smil. Jesus Christ, I heard about that. You're saying Henick was with them? Almost certainly. He could have at least told me about the money, the little shit. Forget about that. Tell me where he is. All right. He was here a few days ago, but he left right away. And you don't know where he went? I've got an idea, but I... I don't... Henick... What? Go. And if he's really in as much shit... I just want to ask him. What do you want to know? Another thing. What is it? Did you go there? No. I've got better things to do. Yes, I understand. Goodbye. Boop.
I see. That's a nuisance. Can you think of anything I can do? Mm. Look, it's all about the scene. God be with you. God be with you. I'd like to discuss the price. Uh, all right, so. Agree? Come now, just a little more and we have a deal. Finally, a reasonable sum. Look what I've got for you. You'll love this. Don't be such a knucklehead. Of course you can't leave him be. Runt would slit your throat if he heard you. But he's just some cowardly peasant. What can he do to us? It's about our fucking reputation. God be with you. Do you need anything? May the Lord watch over you. God be with you. God be with you. Well, I never. Jesus Christ be praised. Good luck to you. Salt, caraway seeds, garlic, and more. You'll find it nowhere else. Jesus Christ be praised. God be with you.
Wait here for me. Stay. Come along, free.
Pour me one. There, satisfied? I'll be back in two shakes. Here you are, and good health. I'll be with you. Have you got a bed for the night? All right. For how long? Just the one night? No problem. But you pay in advance. Hmm. That's quite a lot. Can we discuss the price? Are we agreed? I'd almost shake on that. Almost. You'll like it here. Like sleeping on a cloud it is. May the Lord watch over you. Where do I go to sleep? That's easy. As soon as you go indoors, at the end of the room on the left, there's a door leading to the chamber. Everything's prepared for you there. Good luck to you. Jesus Christ. May the Lord watch over you. What do you think you're doing? You've no business here.
Look what I've got for you. You'll love this. Yeah. 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 Good health to you. I'm looking for Hinek, the courier's son. I hear he sometimes comes here. Have you seen him? He comes here, but I haven't seen him for a while. Ask Raspberry. He knows him better. Who's Raspberry? You'll spot him easy enough. His face is red as a raspberry. Farewell.
Good day to you. Your mates say you know Hinnock, the courier's son. Freaky. Aye, he shows up here sometimes. Why do you ask? I'm trying to find him. Good luck, then. What do you mean? Freaky is like some bloody hedgehog, always creeping around in the woods. And just as prickly. So you see him there often? More like we don't see him. <laughs> Has he been here recently? A few days ago. He came by in the evening, well into his cups. He might have fallen somewhere and broken his neck for all I know. So he went into the woods? Aye, like always. How do you know him? We worked together building a mill by Janowitz, and then he vanished. A year later I came here to work, and lo and behold, there's Riki. Do you know what he gets up to in the woods? What do you reckon? Making money. It's no secret he goes poaching. You're speaking as if that's perfectly legal. No, no. That's not allowed. I know. I mean, I think he might be poaching. But maybe he's gathering firewood. No way for me to know, right? Firewood, of course. I hear Riki has a hideout in the woods somewhere. Do you know where it is? Aye, I think I was there once. You think? What does that mean? Either you were there or you weren't. Um, well, once me and Hinek had a bit of a drink together here and we ran out of ale. Hinek said he had some stashed away in the woods, so off we went. But do you remember anything about it? The direction or which path you took? Aye, I can tell you exactly. We went from the edge of the camp here along the path down to the creek. A little upstream there's a fallen tree bridging the water. We went across it to the other side, then we went uphill to a big boulder. You have to listen carefully there. Why? There's a spring nearby. Someone put a kind of little mill wheel on the stream below it. You can hear it going clap, clap, clap all day and night. Uh-huh. But once you find it, you go around the spring and nearby you'll see a clearing. That's where Hinnick's hideout is. It's an old mine gallery or cave. God be with you.
Jesus Christ, what am I to do? Not that I can expect any useful advice from you. At least, you have no more cares. Need someone to talk to? Fuck! Don't, don't kill me. I, I can explain. I won't tell anyone. I swear, I've no one to tell anyway. Just please don't kill me. I'm not planning to kill you. You're, you're not one of Runt's men? No. Then who are you? I come here in the name of Sir Radzik Kabila and Sir Hanish of Lipa. I'm investigating the raid on the Neuhof stud farm. I've got no idea what you're on about. Well, save your breath. If you want any chance to escape the gallows, you'd better come clean, all right? Jesus Christ. This will never be over. So? Fine, then. That Neuhof raid of yours didn't turn out quite as planned, did it? Depends on whose plan you're talking about. We were up to it to grab some loot and bugger off. Only Runt's cutthroats was there to shed blood. What do you mean, Runt's cutthroats? There were two gangs there, mine and Runt's. We was only there to steal, but they wanted to slaughter everyone. But when you realised what they had in mind, you didn't have to go along with it, did you? But we didn't know nothing, even though we were going to Neuhof. They told us to keep watch on the courtyard while they were cutting the horses' throats. Jesus, that fucking vexed me. Their horses was the most valuable thing there. When I spoke up, though, Runt gave me such a bollocking I knew I'd better keep my mouth shut. And when they said we was going to kill anything that moved, then we knew there was no going back. Did you know any of Runt's people? Not a one. They didn't talk to us at all. None of their faces was familiar, either. The only thing I know is they called that huge chief of theirs Runt, and Pius warned us to watch out for him. I don't suppose you know where they got to after the raid? On the way to Neuf, Timmy told me he was at their camp with Pius. I reckon that's where they've gone now. Did Timmy tell you where the camp is? Somewhere in the woods. He didn't say nothing more. Thing is, Timmy's got quite an imagination. But Pius roared at him to shut it, so I reckon there must be something in it. That gang of yours, what can you tell me about them? Don't know what you want to know. There was four of us. Me, Timmy, Limpy Lubosh, and Pius Pava. Sometimes we'd rob a place or hold up pilgrims. Never nothing fancy. I'm sure you did mischief enough. Who led you? Pius. He was the oldest, and he'd mostly find the jobs for us. Plan them and the like. He got us into that fucking mess in Neuhof, too. What about the others? Timmy's strong as an ox, with a brain to match. You got more sense out of a fence post. And Limpy. I've been with him the longest. He's my one and only friend, I suppose. Who got your two gangs together? You must have made contact somehow, right? Pius. He comes to us and says he's got this prime job. We're going to rob a farm, he says. Well, that was a big deal, because mostly we just did small stuff. A hold up on the road now and then, nothing fancy. When they told us how much we could make on it, well, we just couldn't refuse. So Pius knew them? I suppose, but I don't know where from. We even got paid up front. I should have known from the start it was too good to be true. Where did the rest of your gang end up? You saw Limpy, right? Yes, but he's no use to me now. Tell me where I can find Pius or Timmy. I don't know nothing about Pius. He vanished in the woods, and I haven't seen him since. Timmy, I reckon, went back to the mill where he works. Which mill? The windmill a bit north of Neuhof. Tell me exactly how the raid went down. Um, well, we stormed in from the rear. Runt's people started slaughtering the horses. Jesus, that was bleeding horrible. Meanwhile, me and Limpy had a sniff round the stables to see if we could find anything worth pilfering. And in the end, we got lucky. What did you find? Smil, Sir Hanish's groom. 
I don't know why he was up and what he was doing in the stables, but we took advantage of the situation. Limpy grabs him by the throat and I slapped him round to encourage him to tell us where the money was. Then it all fell apart at the seams. Quicker than you'd believe, Runt comes running up and skewers the groom like a pig for roasting. My jaw dropped. I thought the stuff about killing was just tough talk. And it wasn't? No, not in the least. What happened then? I'm gaping at Smill, stuck through and through, and I noticed this boy standing at the other end of the stables. The stupid sods pointing at us, jaw hanging down to his knees, saying, I know you. Runt turns to us and hisses. Take him down. So me and Lubosh start running, because the lad took to his heels. At the same time, we could hear the noise of the skirmish in the courtyard. We caught up with the boy at the next farmhouse. I knock him to the ground, but he bashes me with some piece of iron so hard my head's ringing like a fucking church bell. Limpy grabs it off him and stands over him, with his bodkin in his hand, and I start praying. In the end, Limpy just gives him a kick and says, Beat it, Ginger. And then Runt shows up at the gate and hollers that we gotta go, so we scarf it. What happened after the raid? We were waiting for that fool, Timmy. Same place as we met them before, so he'd know where we were, right? Stupid fucking idea. But Pius didn't want to leave him behind. Only when Timmy finally turned up, two of Runt's men were dragging him. There was some difference of opinion? You could say that, yeah. They started on us right away that we were traitors. They knew we'd let somebody get away, and now we were going to pay for it. They started trying to surround us, and we knew what was coming. But Limpy took his bodkin and let that fucker have it in the belly. Runt. One of the others. Timmy broke free from them, and we all took to our heels. Luckily, they were so buggered from the raid, they didn't follow us for long. They just shouted that they'd find us. That's all I need to know. So now what do I do with you? Well... Hey, over here! Wait over here. Shh. Jay. Well, Jay. Shut up. Oh, shit. Runs, people. We've got to get out of here. They're too close. We'll never outrun them. Fuck! At least they don't know I'm here. The two of us can take them by surprise. No fucking way. I'm gone. Lucky. If you run, they'll catch up with you and kill you. And me too. Together, we stand a better chance. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right. I suppose you're right. I've got some more questions. What? Who is this runt? What does he look like? Do you know anything about him? I never saw him before, but he's massive and scary as hell. Even his own men are afraid of him. Did you notice what his sword looked like? No, it was just a regular sword, I think. Why do you ask? I think I once had the doubtful honor of meeting that bastard. And he has something that doesn't belong to him. You're coming with me. Sir Radzig and Sir Hanish will want to hear what you've got to say. I don't suppose there's any chance you might turn a blind eye. Why should I? I didn't do nothing all that bad. 
and I told you everything I know. You can tell them yourself, and leave me here, and in a few weeks I'll pack up and clear off. It might be best if you disappeared. You're no use to me anymore anyway. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'll remember this till the day I die. Best just try living honestly. I'll do my best. I promise. Look what I've got for you. You'll love this. <laughs> <laughs> 